All right, joining me tonight to navigate the fall TV season, TV editor for Variety, Mike Schneider. Nice to coming see on, you in person. Glad to have you. I'm glad. Yeah, you're no longer yeah, in a square satellite You smell window. much better than I thought you would. Thank was, you. Yeah, so. it's yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's axe. That's yeah. the axe effect. So <laughs> please try not to climb over the pipes stuff. in my dressing yeah. room. Yeah. I got another ringtone out of that. All right, let's start uh, with uh, NBC is reviving Bionic Woman, which, I mean, you tell me because yeah. I, I, I've seen previews for this. I see the the weird eyes on the billboard. Right. And I don't know how to feel about right. it. Right. Well, basically, it is sort of a remake of the 1970s show, right. but a little more extreme. It's basically about Jamie Summers, a normal uh, average girl who. Mm -hmm to be dating a guy who's uh, got some shady government dealings. She gets in a car crash, and he decides to bring her down to his secret lair, and he builds her bigger, faster, stronger. Suddenly, she's got these powers. She's like, what'd you do to me? And he's like, hey, I wanted to keep you alive. And then right. the rest is history. And he does this with creepy real dolls in the basement as well? Or <laughs> like, this is a weird hobby that he has? Well, it turns out there's a lot of intrigue. Like, you know, she was almost killed on purpose. Oh, and, you know, okay. There's, okay. There, there's a backstory. This is much more ambitious, a lot more special effects. It's not sure. your father's. Woman. Well, that, and that's what I mean, because you said it was like it was kind of a cheesy series in the 70s, right. but they're not going that route. Right, that, right. But I don't, you know, some people like the cheese. Right. Some people want the action. So you know, it's, it's sort of very much Battlestar Galactica. David Icke did both. Right. And he's doing the same thing here. So who well, is he really going to appeal to the most? Like for our fans, should they watch it if they want camp and cheese, or you know, should no, they stay no. Away from the, it? If they want camp and cheese, stay it's, away it's from done. it. But I think your audience probably likes Battlestar, and they'll probably mm -hmm. like this one as well. But could the it be the is, next Battlestar? It could, but Battlestar was never a huge hit, so very we'll true. see if Bionic. All 12 super that. fans of that show out there right now are completely angry. Oh, they are on their blogs right now. <laughs> real time, that guy real time the show? dude. All right, now the CW. I, I think it exists on my channel lineup somewhere, and now I have a reason to tune in. Apparently, it's a, a supernatural comedy series called Reaper. Right, exactly. Well, you had a reason to tune in because of Gossip Girl. But that's another show. Very true. Entirely. That's that, that but, took uh, up 12 gigs in my TV. But uh, Reaper's actually a pretty cool show. It's basically about a 21 year old who turns out on his birthday finds out that his parents had actually sold his soul to the devil, mm -hmm. and so on his 21st birthday, the devils come to collect. But it's it's sort of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but very much humor based and not so much mythology. So if you're into to laugh. Mm -hmm. it, it's a decent show. Is but it, if you want more, then I don't know if you're going to get it on this show. Is it? I mean, the, the effects look great. I mean, clearly yeah. they spend some money on this thing. But I mean, is it campy in the same vein as Buffy, or it's, is it more actual? Here is a joke. It's going to be funny. Enjoy. No wink and nod. It, it, it's definitely as campy as Buffy. Okay. Probably more so because very cynical, very sarcastic. Right. You know, some people like that. Some people want a little more to it. So. And how's, have, how's my fiance in it? Missy Peregrine. Missy. How's well, you know, they doing? brought in Missy. They replaced the other girls. Right. So I know. she has I, been I, home in weeks because of the shoot schedule, and I get it. Exactly. Exactly, over exactly. Over again, and, and I hear the restraining order is actually, like, It's holding up, to, actually. It's okay. sadly holding up. Um, the bruises approve it. Well, you know, I actually haven't seen the new version. The original version that I saw had the, the girl who now, sadly, is going to be watching it at, at home like the rest <laughs> right, of us. Yeah. So, Who's we'll see, and But I'm angry. sure uh, for you, she's great. Good. And the pilot was directed by Kevin Smith, yes, right? Yes, yes. Uh, he's no longer involved with the show beyond the pilot, though. Mm. So take, you know, what you want from that. You know, clearly, he set the tone. He set the look. So as long as the future directors right. keep up with what Kevin did, it, this will be a good right. Show and I think a big not, hit for CW. They're not limboing under the bar that he said, hopefully. Right, they're right. They're hopping over. Exactly. It. Nice, I, nice way. Now, Pushing Daisies, it's been called like yeah. ABC's Next Lost. It was created by Heroes producer Brian Fuller, right? Right, right. And I see billboards for this thing, but I have no idea. It looks like the OC meets Weeds. Yeah, I don't. Well, it's Quite. <laughs> At least from the Again, I don't even know what that given. means, but uh, you know, this this is definitely my favorite new show, The Fall, because it's quirky, it's different, it's nice. It's uh, it's, it's basically, got a fan. It's, it's basically <laughs> about a guy who it's very quirky, very Tim Burton esque. It's about a guy who's a pie maker who discovers as a kid that he can bring pe dead people back to life by touching them. But if he touches them again, they're gone for good. So you know that's fine and dandy. And actually, he goes into business with another guy and actually bringing dead people back to life, finding out how they were killed, and then pushing them and then collecting the reward. Okay. That's fine and dandy until one day when he actually finds his childhood crush, brings her back to life, doesn't want to kill her off. Of course. And so, so now other people have to perish on account of it? Or? Right. And, well, and basically how, you know, they, they want to start a relationship, but how do they do that when they can't touch each other? Very much like your last girlfriend. <laughs> well, no, she just didn't want to touch me. Yeah. It's, it's, but it's, it's the same sort thing. of idea. So that's... A part so, of her died every so the, time I did touch. Yeah. So, so the, the women are going to like the show because of the romance. I think right. the guys will like it because of the, the murder mysteries and the intrigue. It's very different. Uh, this is the show that if this doesn't hit, then network TV is dead. Uh, and good night. which one of these is better than Californication? I'm in <laughs> love with the show. I'm a huge Duke. Yeah, fan. that's a good show. It's a but, triple uh, X Files. You gotta love it. Watch Pushing Daisies. If there's one you're going to TiVo this right. fall, that's the one. Mike, appreciate the roundup, sir. Thank you Anytime, so much. Right? As always, it's good to get you out of the satellite window. You yeah. can come back and, and do it again sometime. Exactly, and I'll borrow that axe. Good, please do. Yeah. All right, for even more, Mike, uh, you can visit his blog at uh, FranklinAvenue.com? FranklinAvenue.net. FranklinAvenue.net. It's an entire network, this man. Dude. He's got people.